If you're just joining us today, I'm Bridges. Devon Blackwood is my guest. And Devon, we've been having a great discussion about your book, Planted yes, by we Water, have. and how important that spiritual foundations and disciplines mm -hmm. discipline is to our life. Because a lot of times we just get ourselves out of order and don't even realize that, that that's what the problem is. And God really inspired you to write this book, Planted by Water. Yes. And I understand you also have a companion devotional journal just to help us maintain that spiritual connection with God. Tell me about how this companion devotional works. Yeah, so because um, I um, totally enjoy writing so much and not just reading, but actually writing, um, I thought that perhaps a book with a companion devotional journal could help people to organize their thoughts and also to um, write some perspectives and some helpful strategies in which they can empower um, themselves. So actually in the book itself, at the end of each chapter, it has a beautiful um, section that is called Deepening Your Connection. Mm -hmm. And it gives about 8 to 12 um, very practical step-by-step um, -step, step approach uh, to really some things that people can do to apply um, some of the concepts in, in that particular chapter. But then I want to just to extend it a little bit, uh, uh, you know, for uh, individuals who really do like to get pen and paper out mm -hmm. and really write down some things. And for each chapter in the book, uh, the de uh, a companion devotional journal highlight some things that people can just quietly uh, sit in a corner, in a quiet corner, and just do a little, um, you know, uh, thinking and just have some little thought-provoking ideas, um, really about what things they will need to integrate into their spiritual walk. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of times, Devon, as you shared, you know, the tests, the trials, the distractions that come, and we don't ever take time to pen maybe a thought that God is giving us or... You know, all Jesus ever asks us to do is to remain in Him, to abide in Him. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we yoke ourselves up with all these other things, and if we don't take that little bit of time away, just to have that connection, to, you know, plug back into Him, so to speak, that, again, that confusion and those things that draw us away from God and the heart of God, none of us would knowingly want to be drawn away from God. It's just that it happens slowly, and all of a sudden we hit the wall and we're like, what, what happened? happened? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How did I get yeah. here? I mean, sometimes we find ourselves um, in a backslidden state. Absolutely. Uh, state sometimes mm -hmm. we're sort of like really slow down in our Christian walk, and sometimes there are deterrents, and clearly there are deterrents in in society, not just for youth, but grown men and women yes. in their Christian walk with God find that they're uh, you know str struggling with. with with things like sex and, sure. and sex addiction and, and alcoholism and chemical dependency and gambling and um, sometimes other uh, kinds of attributes but really mars um, mm -hmm. our character right. um, like lying or, or manipulation and, and it, uh, uh, cheating or not um, being honest in our um, tithe and offering when mm -hmm. God um, has blessed us. And so it goes far and wide, you know, it really, really can go uh, um, deep. And more and more people in our society today is really struggling. We're That's struggling right. with depression. Mm -hmm. I mean, the idea that Christians or people who are believers in Christ don't struggle with these things is just really right. a, a huge misconception. Oh, well, more know, and more people are struggling yes. with these things today. It's a myth that Christians don't struggle with those things. Paul yeah, said he absolutely. had to die daily, and if Paul had to right. die daily, so do we. <laughs> and a lot of times that stuff of lying or cheating or whatever it is, it's, we don't get there in a day. We get there slowly, usually over time, over not paying attention to the basics or the elementary things. And some people are like, well, I don't have time for all that. You know, I'm deep. And I'm like, yeah, you're deep. You're way deep. You don't even know how deep you are. You're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not planted by water and we're not keeping that connection with God and a lot of times we don't understand what a blessing that can be to just hang in there consistently with God every day to remain in him and let his words remain in us and then the word says we'll ask what we will yeah. and he'll give it to us yes absolutely but also too to have a spirit of humility yes I believe that humility will take anyone um, 
as far as they want Amen. to in life. That's I right. mean, if we're humble to see our flaws and yes. to see our deficiencies and to call on God and to call in someone who genuinely care about That's us right. and have a compassion for our soul, God will help us. Amen. You know, but we have to be willing to say, God, look, I'm falling short here. That's I'm really right. struggling. There's mm -hmm. a stronghold in my life and I really need you to help me. That's right. And it, that takes humility and saying that we don't know everything. Yeah. You know, even to go to your pastor exactly. and say, you know, I'm struggling in this area, I need for you to pray. You know, it's not that we're not born again, it's not that we don't love yeah, God, absolutely. we need each other. That's why God has put other people on this earth. The, the Word says we're to provoke and encourage each other yeah, to good absolutely. work. And when we isolate ourselves or when we get to that place of pride that says, I know it all, yeah, <laughs> that's absolutely. where the Pharisees really were. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're absolutely right. Now also in regards to this, uh, the book is endorsed. Um, actually, it has five tremendous endorsements. Uh, one of the endorsements is from Dr. Tony Evans yes. and also um, Guilford T. Monrose, who is the president of In, In Him Ministries. And um, for all the uh, wonderful um, five uh, people who has taken the time to review the book, um, I certainly appreciate it. But also to you, Monica, and to your staff, Valerie and you, um, you took the time to review the book and totally like the book. Now, um, uh, ironically, um, the book's publisher, Coltry Press, is right here in Nashville, Tennessee. God's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right here in Nashville, Tennessee with Peter um, Hansberg, mm -hmm. um, uh, Hansberger and uh, he and his very fine uh, um, staff. Yeah, well, I did like the book, and one of the things that I like about it the best is just that it's about the foundational basic principles and keeping that connection, because we've got what I call a lot of fluff in the body of Christ. All this stuff, I'm telling you, it looks good and it sounds good, but it doesn't satisfy our soul. It doesn't grow our spirit, and I think that your book, uh, Planted by the Water and also the Companion Guide, will help people to feed their spirit and to grow in Christ, which is what what it's all about and I want to thank you for taking the time and for coming here today. I'm not sure I certainly appreciate being here. So